Hi there, so today we're going to be talking about direct edit modeling inside of Autodesk Inflator. So we are going to be focusing specifically on cylindrical features for today. The assembly that we're going to be focusing on is this caliper assembly. Notice too that it is a SOLIDWORKS assembly, right? So again, you're not limited to working with a specific file. You can work with other file extensions if you wish, right? So we brought in the assembly. Notice that it is fully constrained. Uh, all the parts are in here as well. Now with these calipers, usually you have different configurations of them, right? So what we're going to be doing here is maybe changing the hole size and also maybe moving the holes a little bit closer towards the center. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to first locate which holes we want to uh, position. In this case, it's going to be the holes on the main caliper portion of it. Once you double click, you are in editing mode for that specific model. And if you look under modify, you see that you will have the command to direct edit. Right? So select which face you want to modify. Notice that for the size, you can change that to diameter. And then specify the diameter that you wish to switch to. Next, we want to go ahead and position those holes a little bit closer to the center. Once again, select the faces. This time, make sure that you have Move selected. And notice that we want to locate a reference point. Right? In this case, we want to choose the center of that piston to be our locating point. And let's say we want to go 50 thousandths towards the center of the caliper. Change that value to negative 50 and do the same for the other hole. One thing that you will note is that the value that gets inputted for this whole change is going to be positive 50. Right? So reason for that, the arrow is pointing to the left, therefore the value is a positive number. Once you made the changes, return back to the assembly view and turn on the visibility of your rest of the components. And that's been direct editing inside of Autodesk Inventor.